Hi everybody, this is Gerda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the um, a cap, how to do a cap sleeve. Okay, this is a sample of it. This is a very, very short, and then the, it's kind of curvy. And I have a sample on this side where we're going to go into the full details. What you're gonna need? You're gonna need a sleeve, an already made sleeve. It doesn't matter what size uh, you're going to be using, depending on the size of the dress or the jacket you're going to be making. And you're going to need your curve ruler. I have a couple of different curves. This is like a hip curve, you know, French curves and so forth. Armhole curve, depending on what kind of shape I'm going to be doing, that I'm going to want my um, sleeve to be okay and of course you're gonna need a pair of scissors i'm gonna be using a white pencil on the brown paper but if you're home you can use a regular number two pencil and so forth but for to for the lines to be clear enough for you guys to see i'm using the white pencil okay now this is my regular sleeve I have notches all around the two notches represent the back of the sleeve and this is the shoulder seam the shoulder notch and this is the uh, the front notch and on this side we have similarities now this is a long sleeve um, I'm using the long sleeve and you can if you have a, a short sleeve pattern you can also use that as well but I chose to use this one just for the sake of grabbing one and come over. So now I'm going to do a short cap, well, a cap sleeve, which is a short sleeve and with the curve at the hemline. Okay, so I'm going to place my sleeve on a piece of paper and try to line your paper straight. That way everything is good. Now, depending on the length of the seed that I'm looking for, I'm going to go, I'm going to use my seed ruler and I'm going to, maybe I'll just add one, two, three, I'm going to do three inches from one side and I'm also going to do, I'm going to mark it three inches, I'm also going to do the same thing on this side three inches down as you can see I've already used this pattern for another set of sleep so this is the line that I'm going to stop okay so now place your hands on the sleeve and I'm going to trace as I'm tracing my pattern I'm also tracing my notches as well okay trace all the way around once I get to the corner which is the side seam I'm going to trace the line that goes all the way to the mark that I drew earlier and I'm also going to trace this line okay, so before you actually lift the whole thing so you double check to make sure everything is traced all my similarities and and what I also like to do is to trace the grain line, which is this line. That way I can just use my ruler and um, retrace it. Okay, this is the grain line. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take my seat ruler or straight ruler and I'm going to even though it looks crooked on the paper because I uh, placed it crooked but it's still a straight line so if I were to go from here to there it's three inches from here to there is three inches now I don't want you guys to get confused so this is like two one two two and a quarter inch from the bottom of the uh, the paper and I can do one two and a quarter and remove the excess just for you guys not to get not to get confused now if i were to go like this 
I can face this. I'm cutting the excess. Take that away. Then I'm going to also cut this excess. See? Now it looks great. This is it. See? When you eyeball it, everything looks straight. So, now, bear in mind, now I've already added my seam allowance, which is for the hemline, for the hem of the sleeve. So, it's about, this one is about, what, half an inch? So, this is half an inch. This is going to be a half an inch for my seam allowance. Therefore, I'm going to not seam allowance on uh, the hem. This is the seam allowance. This is also the hemline. This is the line hemline. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, let's see, depending on how high I want it. So I can actually just see, let's see, this is one, two, three, four. Okay, but mind you now, this is more of a, a cap sleeve. It's a higher cap sleeve than before, so I have to go around this part, which is the bicep, right around here, because I don't want to do too much of it. So I can do, I would do two inches. Okay, so from the hemline up to two inches, so the finished part is going to be an inch and a half. Now, I like to trace my um, my grain line. See, I'm going to follow the lines that I draw. See, this is going to be my grain line. This is parallel to, let's see your fabric. This is going to be your fabric. So the grain line is always parallel to the fabric. So when you cut it, it is straight grain line. Okay, so now... I'm going to use my French curve, one of my French curves, and actually kind of go around, you see, and go, see, I'm tracing from, see, a nice little curve. I can also do the same thing on this side, see, following, okay, this is a nice curve. Now, what I do, and that's about it, and I'm going to cut the excess. Now, usually if I were to fold my pattern, and everything looks good, might have to trim off just a little bit on the curve once I fold. So I'm going to cut all the excess. If your sleeve didn't have seam allowance, let's say you're using a sleeve sloper, then once you cut the shape, then you can add your seam allowance. But since my sleeve already have seam allowance, I'll just cut it from the actual line. Cut, cut, cut. Cut inside of the line so that way you don't add any excess fabric. Then place your hand on the pattern so that way it stays flat. Okay. And okay. then I'm gonna cut this side. Like I said, my sleeve already has seam allowance. So now I'm going to cut the shape. Look my curve shape. There goes my sleeve. You see? If I were to fold it and everything should look the way it should be, this is the sleeve. Now, the back of the sleeve is always having a little bit of excess for the back or uh, uh, for the back shoulder. So everything looks good. Okay, if I need to, I can actually trim off. 
I want, I can trim off just a little bit. My first one just disappeared on me. I don't, oh, there you go. See, for me, I can actually go and trim that off just a little bit. There's always room for corrections. That's why you always have to eyeball your pattern pieces. And here you go. Okay. And I can always take, let's see. So this is good. Just remove, just kind of work it out. There you go. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use my latcher. I'm going to use my latcher and I'm going to notch all my notches. Okay. This is the shoulder notch and this is the back. These are the back notches. And I'm going to label my sleeve because you don't want to just place it someplace and if anybody else is looking for it, it's like they don't know. So I'm going to put cap sleeve. Okay, and put cut two. So this is one, but I, I'm going to. You can have just one, but professionally, you need to have two sleeves. So if, if you're cutting the, the dress or anything, you can actually take put one sleeve um one on one side and the other one on the other side that way you can save fabric or if you want you can fold your fabric okay and then cut the two sleeves all at once okay take one sleeve and just put, place it on the two pieces of the fabric and just cut it now cap sleeves cut two i'm going to put self self represent the the main fabric if I were to use another fabric, I would put, instead of self, I would put combo. Let me just write it down here. I would put combo, meaning the sleeves are going to be a different color fabric or different texture, whatever that is. And then this, you always want to make sure you put the size. So I'm going to put size. This is a size six and so forth. And voila. I can also put a notch on this side for the half an inch for the hemline. I don't like to usually do that, especially when um, if you're gonna be use the pattern over and over again, because you already know. Once you know how to sew, you know the seam allowance that need. I need it to be there so because sometimes the more you use the pattern it gets very flimsy and then this can come off so I always like to just use the seam allowance for the side seam and knowing hey if it's going to be like an edge if it's doing like a full inch like for this pattern I put I use uh, I did the uh, the notch for the hemline so you fold it like this and so forth and that's about it guys i love cap sleeves especially when it comes to dresses uh, uh like a, 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 a blouse during the summertime it keeps you cool you don't have to keep rolling your sleeves and so forth i hope you guys had fun uh if there's any questions please uh, um send them to me below and don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to my channel i'm here for you and Love you and God bless. Thank you.